wasn't expecting to begin his career hauling junk. Literally, what began as a summer stint is now a million-dollar business with this young entrepreneur at the helm. This is an inspiring story. Here to tell us how he's driving his business to success is Omar Solomon. He is CEO and co-founder of College Hunks Hauling <laughs> Junk. <laughs> I love the name, Omar. It's fabulous. How are you? <laughs> How's it going? Very I'm doing well, great. Very well. Tell us this, about the origination of this business, sort of the genesis of how you got it going. Yeah, I mean, it was, uh, I was like any other college kid. I used to like to hang out, play video games. My mom said, get off the couch, get a job. So she had a furniture store, and uh, she had a beat-up cargo van that she would uh, use for a furniture store. I took the cargo van, put up some flyers around the neighborhood that said, college hunks hauling junk, enlisted the help of some of my buddies, and... Uh, pretty much hauled junk all summer and I ended up pocketing eight thousand dollars so I made more money than all my friends combined and uh, so that's when the lightning, lightning bolt went off and realized that there was really a lot of demand for uh, junk removal now Omar you, you had your own money your savings from the eight grand you made you borrowed some money from friends and family but that still wasn't enough you needed a yep. bank loan uh, finally Bank of America gave you some money but why did they give you money when four other banks turned you down do you know you know, we were two 22-year-old kids. We didn't have much credit history. We were getting turned down a lot. I, I'm really not sure why Bank of America took a gamble on us, but we probably wouldn't have been able to start the business if they didn't. We uh, put the money down. We purchased the truck, and uh, we started in June of 2005, okay. and we grew which our operation. Which leads to the next question, Omar. Do you think in this atmosphere, a 22-year-old kid who's got a name like College Hunks Hauling Junk would get that kind of bank <laughs> loan? I mean, we've got a credit crisis. What are your thoughts on the recession? You know, I think it's I think it's tough. I think it would definitely be tough. People need to come up with some creative ways to obtain financing, either borrowing money from family or friends or figuring out something more creative. But, you know, we do have a lot of franchisees who are in the 22 to 25 year old range who've been able to get some money from the SBA. We have some the vet fran program um, for veterans who are coming back from the war, also are able to obtain some financing. So there well, are some I, I love ways it, Omar. That you you, you use financing. everything that is possibly out there. Not only your your own money, your friends, your, your relatives, but all the SBA you things. By to. the way, your numbers <laughs> your numbers are looking pretty good. I think we can put them up on screen. Uh, this recession is is hurting everybody, of course. So despite the fact that your numbers right. for a startup are looking good, what's happening right now? This is looking back. What's happening right now? To your sales right now we've yeah we've noticed that the, a lot of the low-hanging fruit the typical residential customer that might have a garage or an attic with stuff that they want to get rid of they might not want to spend the 200 or 300 dollars to do that right now but there's a huge spike in commercial business property managers who have tenants who are leaving stuff behind big offices oh, are yeah. downsizing so while we've seen a little bit of decrease in residential we've seen a, a, a large increase in commercial Omar do you have to be good-looking and a hunk uh, to work here I mean you got the title <laughs> college hunks <laughs> if I can be a hunk, anybody can be a hunk. You know, hunk is in the eye of the beholder. We do look for clean-cut um, collegiate employees, but beauty's in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> I, I bet, I bet. My I, grandma says I'm a hunk. Would you, <laughs> oh, well, everybody's <laughs> grandma, grandma says they're a hunk. That's, come through. Wasn't that that's, sweet? Yeah, I know. That's all I got. Omar, <laughs> do you uh, plan on going, are you ready? I'm glad you're sitting down. You're going to launch an IPO and go public? Okay. You know, it's um, something we've discussed. We still probably have a couple more years under our belt before we can do that. Um, we, we really believe that our sales can hit $50 million in the next five years, and that's what we're shooting for. Once that happens, the sky's the limit. Well, i got to tell you, anybody who can haul junk in Washington, D.C. in the <laughs> summer when the humidity and the heat are just the most oppressive practically anywhere except for Iraq, uh, you know, you can do just about anything. Omar, congratulations to your franchise. Thank uh, you. May it succeed for as long as, <laughs> as, long as we're all around. Good Thank luck. you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you